Uh, Code Veronica X also came with the Wesker reports that I mentioned that earlier. Uh, it, it pretty much fulfills you in on what Wesker was doing between Resident Evil's two and this game, because uh, quite obvious Re Wesker's back from the dead, <laughs> essentially. Uh, after he was impaled by the tyrant. Assuming you playing, uh, what was it the Chris scenario is where he gets impaled by the tyrant. Yeah. Right. Well, he can get impaled in. I, no, he can get well, impaled. even in an, e doesn't he get shot in Jill scenario? Uh, it depends just... upon the circumstances. If Barry dies, he gets impaled. Okay. And um, even in um, the Umbrella Chronicle shows that Wesker was still alive. Yeah. Well, that was after this game, though. Yeah, I know, but still. Um. He's like, obviously, he's gotten a few more superpowers since the last time we've seen him. A yeah, few. Could... Yeah. Apparently, he had to die before that took into effect. Amazing Wesker's the only one that does that. Otherwise, yeah. they're... otherwise, he's a fucking zombie. He's somewhat of a zombie. Oh, he ain't no zombie. No, he's no zombie. Zombie, I categorize as someone who is mindless and only wants num nums. <laughs> so, middle schoolers. Middle schoolers. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. Here we go. So it's one of those pianos that plays itself? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, fuck this, this piece. J just take it, please. <laughs> this sounds so familiar. It's the, uh... Remember the melody that was playing with the, um... The melody that usually played in the, uh... I know how to... S I'm, I'm, to come I'm struggling for the words here, but... It's that melody that played in the, uh... Movie where they tore off the dragonfly's wings. Oh. Oh, it's still playing. Yeah. Also replaces the uh, main hall theme, which I'm alright with. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's like a third attack. I'm gonna turn it off. <laughs> I would like to. I would actually like to hear the composer Mayuji actually do this. Who? Um, he's the one. He's the one that um I use for my uh, music for creepy pasta. Oh. Okay. We gotta go all the way back to the uh, haunted house. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> I left my keys there. <laughs> yeah, essentially. You know what? <laughs> well, you know what? Fuck it. <laughs> I'm just gonna sit my ass down and let Chris do all the work. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, the banished natures are still there. That's why I bought the grenade launcher. Oh, damn it. My words exactly, Elliot. Did you ignore some? I know you killed the two near the staircase. Yeah. Yeah, you killed them. Oh, never oh, no, mind. Never mind. Oh, I consider that a cheap shot. That was bullshit. It's going to come up anyway. Oh, I know. You'd be at least like. Or are you gonna take care I of get me? cheap shot too, asshole. Oh. Take that. <laughs> and Ow. that. And some of this. Take you in the schnoz. Motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, crap. Looks like the place fell under a bit of disarray. And by that, I mean these two zombies. Oh, still alive. You're right, let's fix that. <laughs> Ooh, I think that was three hits. <laughs> oh, there's multiple. No, no, I think that was three hits, though. There's one here. There it is. Hey. That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to deal with them eventually. Oh, that's with... cute. <laughs> I'll deal with them on the trip back. We're going back? Yeah, I'm going to have to do this place twice. Oh, my God. Hi, Joe's Mule. <laughs> Rodrigo, when'd you get here? Yeah. <laughs> what is that? Looks like you had him stun locked. I did. Ooh, padded nice doors. gameplay. I like padded doors. They're nice. They feel fuzzy. Give me a good feeling. Is Ow. someone out there? I think I heard something. <laughs> good point. They're probably not in the room. No. You know, I gotta say, in terms of all the Resident Evil games we played so far, this one's the noisiest in terms of background music. Right. Oh shit. 
<laughs> I mean, there is a like, yeah. This definitely there's has a lot, a of, lot background. of background there's, music. There's a lot of background music in this game. Yeah, I'm gonna hang on bullets again. That was my fault. I did this fast backwards. And maybe I'm just misremembering. I'm pretty sure there was yeah. You know, Resident Evil's one through three always had the background music, but it's so noticeable here because it's so loud. Uh, of course, I took the wrong fucking side. Damn it. Wrong side. Yeah. The king ants. The king's ants. The king's ant goes in the other room. Oh, and oh, come on. Back. I want to know. I'm going to get a little bit of medicine here, ladies and gentlemen. I have no idea what it is with this neighborhood and fucking helicopters. I don't know. Ah, good to be back. <laughs> I just thought you got a hammer for a second. I, thought I don't you, know why. I thought you were getting Thor's hammer. <laughs> oh, boy, we got to find the music box music. Woo! What? Oh, my God. Another fetch quest. Uh, That's fucking annoying. This you, is you really actually, annoying. No, 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 no. To be completely fair to the game, I goofed. So this one's on me. Uh, okay. It's just... Well, uh, goof in what sense? How'd you goof? I was supposed... There's something else I gotta do in the military training facility because I gotta get into that doorway now. The one with the extinguisher. Well, the one with the, um... You know where the uh, biohazard is at? Yeah. I gotta go there. I gotta get that damn picture... From the, I gotta get that damn um, code, and if not the picture alone, you know, but I can't seem to get it. So, so I gotta find a way back in there, but now it's poisoned. So I gotta find a way to clean it out. And I know what I gotta do to do, fix that too, I believe. Because, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Code Veronica is actually gonna be the last Resident Evil game we do for Halloween Fest. Right. Uh, from this point on forward, uh, like we'll do Zero at some point early next year. Because, you know, I, uh, I don't want Resident Evil 4 to be a Halloween Fest game. You know. Yeah, it can't be. Five, possibly four. Is, four has its four has the potential for Halloween at start. Then it just takes a few wrong turns into batshit bonkers. Yeah, a lot. Don't let that reflect on the quality of the games. We're just giving you reasons why we would make them Halloween fests. Because uh, I know it's I know it's been a yearly tradition now to do a Resident Evil game every October. Uh, but th it that's gonna have to change after the, after Code Veronica. Because well, even ironically enough, Zero does have more ambience than um. Or yeah, um, Zero has. I I would say Zero has just as much ambience as the remake. I wouldn't be surprised if they gave it the HD remaster after the remake comes out for. I want a remaster of two. P. Yeah. Well, a lot or, of people or, want or a three personally. Two. Three was still my favorite. Oh, bullets. I thought it would be plot relevant. Yeah, and also, in, uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is a heads up. This We won't be doing this for quite a long time, but uh, Remake is something we plan on redoing at some time. And Matt, and Matt yeah. will be playing it, right? Yeah. Yeah, but we're doing PS3 version? Yeah, I want to do the HD re-release of Remake when it comes out. Okay. Not, not when it comes out, but it, in due time, because I think... Uh, when, and those who've been following the channel for a while, we did Remake, what, three, four years ago? About that. Yeah. And... Uh, it initially began as a, you know... In all three of all us. All three of us. And Elliot had to leave in, like, in around the third of that because of... Was it camping? Or yeah, I went like camping. Uh, and I thought that... I bet, thought that was a bit distracting. And I figured it, it needs to have a proper redo with all three of us. But that's later, later down the road. Yeah. It'd also be a good excuse to show off the HD port. Yep. I'm curious about that myself. Yeah. Mostly because I heard of what they're trying to do, but uh, ultimately, if it's just like Chris bit having more pockets, just, like, that's all it is. <laughs> yeah, it's more pockets. Yeah. He's wearing parachute yeah, you're pants. You're utilizing your pants pockets this time. <laughs> He's wearing parachute pants. Yeah. I came all the way down here just to grab this. I welcome these. Acid rounds. Oh, yeah. Very powerful. Especially against living things. It's very powerful. Yeah, I fucking okay. hate that line. <laughs> huh? I hate that line. It's fucking funny, though. There's something I'm missing. Because usually when I do about it in my normal pathway, that thing's cleaned up. I forgot what I have to do to trigger the uh, cleanup procedure, though. And this is all because you took a different way than you're usually accustomed to. Right. Now, what triggered that in the first place? I should have gotten able to get the emblem card and then do all that shit much sooner. What did you, what did you do differently? I pretty much did the entire Bandersnatch shit and all, the way, all that stuff up there are earlier than anticipated, and god damn it, did I forget something. What'd you forget? The biohazard card. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we're back. 
I now have the biohazard key card. This should be able to unlock this. Cut. <laughs> uh, damn it! <laughs> you remember the room where we uh, got the army proof? No. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to side with Elliot here. No, I don't. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> it all bleeds together after a while. We got to head back to the command room. What? Oh, it's a closet door. That leads to a command room. Alvaro was never good with that kind of shit. See that light? You know, that explains so much. Don't it? I knew I was forgetting something in here. Eleven twenty-six. Jinx. There we go. Finally. Uh oh. I was wondering why the hell I wasn't waking him up. God, how long ago were you here? Twenty thirty minutes. Jesus Christ! Twenty thirty minutes of absolute wandering. Oh well, no, it's not an all for now. You did do some few things. Yeah, yeah, but we yeah, but I did it all out of order, and as yeah. a result, I could have gotten done shit much quicker. Eh, that's what edits are for. All right, for realsies. Yeah. Let's Back here again. No, I'm gonna use my fingernail. <laughs> <laughs> That's done. Door knobs missing. Quitter. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I have a fucking explosive or two I could have done. Used to solve the problem, but uh, I'm not feeling it. Now we're going to use the passcode here. 1126? Yep. Yeah. What happens if you get it wrong? None. Die. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Access denied. You, 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 you get two big-ass logs come onto your head and you, and you die. Access denied and you gotta wait for the confirmation email of an account you do not own. Oh my god. <laughs> What experimental objects? He's already he's been long dead, sweetie. Oh, it's in the fridge. Oh, there it oh. is. There's vagina. Yeah, at least he's right up there. And we got the skeleton picture. Oh damn it. <laughs> These things emit electricity but are ultimately weak. You don't bother killing them. It has a military marcher. <laughs> <laughs> so now what? Run for your life. If I can get around these things. Perfect. If you don't make it past here within the time limit, it's an automatic game over. Figured. How far do we gotta go? Okay. <laughs> you know where our shutter is? Yeah. yeah. There. Uh-oh. So we're playing the bouncer again. Yeah. Oh, no, the timer doesn't go when you're climbing down fucking stairs. You'd want it to? Oh, okay. I didn't realize that was the cutoff point. And Ellie's favorite sound effect is back. <laughs> Fucker. Now we gotta take the elevator that was all the way around there back up to uh, the second floor. Oh, no, the first floor, sorry. Seriously. We're on the second floor, let's head down to the first. Took seven shots. That was six. What bow if gun I is way more fucking awesome in this version than it is in the game? I could shoot my knife from the bow gun. <laughs> <laughs> Twang. <laughs> Remember this room from years ago? No, me neither. Anyway, hang up the skeleton portrait next. Of course, the escape from his uh, dead from his living counterpart. Oh, progression. Sort of. Back to the castle. 
Oh wait, before I go. What? Oh. There's a paper on the left as well. It's a plaque. Dedicated to the training facility's completion. And we're back, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, are we? Yeah, we're in the hallway now with the gold key. Use it here. Oh, finally we can progress. Yeah. You guys ever read the Resident Evil novels? No. No. And I have no intention to. I didn't even know there were novels. Yeah, there were novelizations of each game. Puzzle time. Oh, shit. Is that Alfred? That's Alfred. Message to the new family master. Sir Alfred, congratulations on your succession as the master of the Ashford family. I hereby present you with an earth, with an earthenware vase, according to <laughs> the Ashford family tradition. <laughs> Who writes out a snicker? <laughs> All right. <laughs> As you may know, this tradition first began when a butler presented a golden teacup to the commemorative of Veronica, founder of the Ashford family. Her intelligence and beauty are legendary, as is her craziness, I guess. Wait, a founder of a family? Yeah. Second and third masters, Stanley and Thomas, were presented with similar teacups. They already hoped to achieve glory as Veronica did before them. Second verse, same as the first. <laughs> exactly. Then it went from Sir Thomas to Sir Arthur, which I'll convince is a fucking reference to um. Cools and ghosts, I don't know why. Then Sir Edward Scissorhands. <laughs> that your grandfather. That was when the Asher family enjoyed its golden age and began on Barlow Incorporated. But when Sir Alexander succeeded, the family began to sink. So the Asher family regains its glory and guidance just as this face continues to shine eternally. Thank you, Scott Tenerman. Thank you. Now then, the puzzle. Fr remember the birth to death thing? Uh -huh. That thing for what generations? Veronica, the twins, and then the redheaded. Uh, well, the, I'm guessing those are just the twins growing up. Right. Yeah. Uh, and then the elderly fuck. No, right. no, no. The guy with the candlestick. Right. And then the elderly that, that's fuck. That's the elderly fuck. Right. He still pushed the grandfather. it. Then we got Al Alexander here. Like I said, it's always, I always get those confused. That's fine. Survey says... Ah, oh, thank God. Yeah. The letterbox gave it away. <laughs> Here's the true master of the Asher family lineage. Alexia? Alexia. Mm -hmm. Why Alexia? What the fuck's wrong with Alfred? Oh, that was dumb. <laughs> what? What's wrong with Alfred? That was the dumbest <laughs> fucking question I've ever asked in a Let's Play. I thought that was a Pokeball. Clearly the biggest thing wrong with Alfred is his shit aim. <laughs> Alright, we got the red ant. Finally. All of that just for one friggin' ant. Yeah. But now we can finish off with the game. Or at least here, anyway. 